Okay, so this weekend, me and Kayla went to. Hi guys, I'm driving. Yeah, she's driving. This is this is cool. We went to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, whoop, whoop, where Kayla's family was. Holla, holla. We saw the fam. Yep. Good times. And um, we got to experience um, diabetes in a different state. And I know that kind of sounds like that's kind of stupid. You feel like it would be the same in a, in a different state, but it's a completely different atmosphere. And Olivia got to see it on the road and it was kind of scary, a little bit scary. Yep. So Kayla, do you yes. want to explain to everybody what happened while we were gone? Well, basically, well, when you're on the road, I usually bring snacks, some protein, some carbs, and stuff. And so while you're, because I try not to make too many stops, I try to make sure you keep hydrated. And when I was okay on the way out there, then when we got there, we got there Friday night, and then Saturday, we went walking around Pittsburgh, the bird, and we were walking, and it's really hilly. Pennsylvania, so we're getting the exercise going on. It gets super steep, like, yeah, like heavy breathing type of steep. And the one medicine that I'm on, Victoza, it's sometimes, like, because I got my, I got to up my medicine because my insurance at first didn't let me have three pens, but so I had to fight with my new insurance company, and now, right now I got more, so it helps me not be so hungry, because with diabetes, you're hungry all the time. Even if you're eating a lot of food, like healthy food, you still like feel like you can't ever get full. So it helps me not be as hungry. So then, because I've been up on the medicine, I haven't been eating as much. And then not eating as much, I'm still eating enough, but just not as much. And my blood sugar dropped last night. It was really scary for me. It was very scary for like, me. It dropped to really it. low. Like usually like my lows, if I go under a hundred, then I'm starting to feel bad. And I know it's dropping, so I gotta eat something. Well, it was like around 10 o'clock. I checked it and it was a hundred. I'm like, okay. It was like legit. It was like one or two. I my mom, well, we were gonna get eat some ice cream anyway. I'm like, okay, I'll just eat some ice cream. And when I go low, I sometimes feel sick to my stomach, but I still ate it because I knew I had to eat something and I needed ice cream. Who doesn't want ice cream? Really? And then, like, we went downstairs, me and Olivia, because we were going to go to sleep. And the process is, like, Kayla told me, the process is to wait, like, 15 minutes? Yep. 15 minutes to check your blood sugar after you do this. So after you have a 15-gram snack, you wait 15 minutes, check it again. If it's below 70, which when I checked it again, it was 66. And that's really low for me. So, I had to, like, I told Olivia, I need you to help get my mom. Cause I was scared at this point. Because I, because I, we just got done having a conversation. I said, so what do you do if it gets, if, it, if you can't get it back up? She goes, well, you just keep eating, basically. And I was just, like, thinking, well, that has to be extremely hard if you're not hungry at all. And then she said, if you don't, you just basically have to go to the hospital. And I was like, well, that's, that's really scary. And then we checked it again, and it was not going up. It just kept dropping. So I had some orange juice, and then I needed some pro. I spiked it. The orange juice spikes it. So I needed something to balance it out. So I had some Greek yogurt, which it was a struggle to eat because I was sick to my stomach, but I had to eat it. And then, like, 15 minutes later, I checked it, and it was... It was like it was like 101 or something so I was like okay I waited another like 15 20 minutes before I went downstairs to go to sleep because I had to make sure it was gonna stay up and it was like 125 so I'm like okay it's good it's not gonna go back down so then I finally got to go to sleep 45 minutes later I had a yeah 45 minute battle with my blood sugar so basically what we learned on this trip well what I learned on this trip is that traveling is hard for diabetics because when you go to a different place especially because you have to plan for when you're going to be doing a lot of exercise 
not even if it's not like hardcore working out because we were just walking a bunch and there was all these steep inclines and we didn't compensate or whatever that word is for how much that would be and balancing out with eat for eating and that's and what I ate for dinner it was like I had some wings I only had like two and then and she then, had sweet potato fries you know and but they're good but they're not like high in carbs yeah. so it my blood sugar wasn't up and then I had unsweetened tea so that didn't do anything so yeah I should have ate a little bit more but I wasn't hungry so I gave the rest to everybody else I'm like I'm not hungry guys I'm full so yeah so we had quite an adventure diabetic adventure in Pennsylvania yep but we learned from this so we got snacks in the car she's had her turkey and she's had her cheese and we're having an awesome trip back and we look forward to posting more about the diabetic challenges we're actually going to post about a diabetic challenge yeah. next time for we're going to post video. about the diabetic of diabetic challenge so stay tuned and we'll see you next time bye guys peace